What is up everyone? We are back again with some more Metroid Dread. We made it here to Daron, and the last thing we did is we obtained the wide beam um beam? <laughs> the wide beam, which is what lets you shoot three beams. So pretty sick, I gotta say. Um something that I wanted to mention, so really quick, in my last two videos of Metroid Dread, I actually noticed, looking back, how dark the gameplay looks when I uploaded the videos, and I didn't realize it, and I thought that's just how the game was, until I saw other videos and kind of just compared them, I'm, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> my video looks way too dark. So I went ahead and adjusted those settings, and I believe it looks so much better, but let me know what you guys think, if it looks better, um, so yeah, so I think it's a good thing I caught that. So that it doesn't affect the rest of the videos. And then just to see what we're going to be doing next. I think I see a couple options that we could do here. Actually, no, there's not too many things that we could do here in Daron. I took a look at the map briefly and it didn't seem like it. So we're going to go back to Kataris and see what we can do now that we have the, the wide beam ability. So we got to let's see how we're going to get out of here. Go up this way. I don't know. I forget what these little red blocks are. Uh, I know we can. There's like a little path down this way, but I don't know if we can actually reach that. Oh, it's these. But yeah, we we can't do anything about that at this moment. So let's go ahead and make our way out of here. There we go. Now we can get out of here. We make our way back. So let's kind of take a look at the map here and see what we can do. For example, before we... Oh yeah, before I came up here and I, I believe I was actually trapped. Like I couldn't go back and now I'm able to move this block and I can actually go back down. And... Seems like I can take this path. We'll, we'll do that. We'll explore this path right here. There we go. Now we just gotta be a little careful because of the Emmy here. No idea where it's at. Oh. There we go. Oh, it can still follow us down here. We'll go ahead and use our cloak ability. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. Right away got caught. Oh, I got it. All right, so we got to find a different way out of here. It feels so good when you do that parry on the, on the Emmy. You know, your chances aren't high of doing that. I wanted to do that really quick just to unblock that path so that we can use it in the future. 
But now I gotta go all the way around. Oh, is he gonna beat us to it? There we go. Something that I gotta remember is that you fact that you can charge your weapon while walking. Sometimes I kind of forget that I can just do that. Can I take these things out too or no? I think I can actually. I don't know. I don't think it matters. Though. I think I just I, as long as I just go for this thing right here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we can destroy this Emmy. The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega cannon. So we're gonna be able to do this, blast it, take the shield off, and then... There it is. I almost forgot how to do this. Go get it. Take its cover off, its armor. Oh god. You gotta be a little patient. Can't get too greedy with it. Oh man, that's just so close. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey Zach, how you doing? And then hello. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Joseph? Josiah? Welcome back. Morph Ball Acquired. Alright, so let's see what we can do with the Morph Ball. It allows Samus to curl into a ball and enter narrow spaces. Classic, right? Press ZL or tilt the left stick down when crouched to transform. While in morph ball form, press B to jump. When standing next to a narrow tunnel near ground level, press B while moving towards the tunnel with L with the L stick to automatically switch to morph ball from the morph ball form and enter. This also works while grabbing on to a ledge leading into a narrow tunnel. So I'm gonna, I just kind of want to watch this little demonstration, just so I can... Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that all makes sense. I'm good, Zach, I'm good. Playing some Metroid Dread. The Omega Cannon depleted and offline, reverting to regular Arm Cannon. There we go, so... Took care of the Emmy in this area now. Now we can keep exploring. One, now that we have the wide beam cannon, uh, we'll, we will be able to enter certain areas. And then two, now we have the morph ball, so now we will be able to squeeze into tighter spaces. So, like we could explore this area right here as well. 
Yeah, let's do that. So, there we go. <laughs> Just testing it out. How would we... Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, this is interesting. This is definitely like opening up a bunch of different possibilities now more abilities we acquire. Oh yeah, now we can go this way too. Because before we went up this way. Question is, do we want to go this way? Yeah, I guess we could go this way to go back to Arteria, right? Might as well like explore a new area. This way is blocked off because of the heat, but we can actually come up this way. Missile plus tank acquired. Missile capacity increased by 10. And then what do we got here? Oh, here we go. Use the teleporter to warp elsewhere? I want to see how this works. Where's it going to take me? Arteria? Is that why it showed that? Here we go with the loading screens again, man. They look so nice and they're all different. Free, well, I'm guessing all the teleportation ones look like this. But depending on where you're going, like they're all different loading scene. Which is like a small detail, but it's so nice. We are back in Arteria. Here we go. That is nice. See, this is what I knew was missing in the game. I knew there was something like this missing. I thought it, like they were going to introduce quick travel, like fast travel, but this makes sense. Alright, so now that we're here, which way should we go? I wonder, I, oh yeah, it's, for example, we could go up this way now. Uh, let me check the Emmy zone door really quick. Oh wow. I just want to very verify that we can't get through those. Like, I'm pretty sure I already know that, but... Oh wait, no, we can. Well, okay, not in this instant. I can't. Can you get this now, though? Oh, wrong way. Oh man, this morph ball is game changer.
Yeah, so now we can actually go up. We can get this thing, energy part acquired. Two out of four, collect four more to increase energy capacity. Oh wow, through the walls? Come on. Hmm. So it doesn't seem like we can get through these doors. Oh, so yeah, there we go. Or that... Yeah, th that door specifically. What do we got here? Okay. Changing the, dire the direction of the thermal fuel. Oh, I can't even go this way. Oh, snap. What's going on? I really gotta get out of here. So the temperature is increasing, driving us upwards, essentially forcing us upwards, right? This map's gotta chill. Come on. Come on. What is going on? Why didn't he- why didn't it- She go through the hole. He wasn't like latching on or anything. Okay. Ah, I fell for that again. There we go. Alright. I think we're good. Don't believe I can do anything about that. Got another ability here. Ooh, new suit. Varia suit or Varia suit? See what it does. It reduces damage taken from enemy attacks and insulates Samus from extreme heat. However, it does not prevent damage from extreme cold and lava. In addition, the Varia suit slightly increase increases the dash melee's damage. Something that I don't probably don't use enough to be honest. Look at that. Now we are able to hang out here. So that's lava, right? So I'm not able to go through there.
So this is the door that we were at before. Um, and we can, we'll just go ahead and head down. Let's see. We'll have to come through here. Oh no, this is the door that we were at before. Hmm, that makes total sense. So let's see now. Is there anything else we can do here? I know that was that seemed like to be a big part of what we could do here. Let me look at the map for other areas now as well. Uh, we could come back also here and explore some areas now that we have the this new suit. Uh, oh no, I can't even get through here actually. So let's just go back now that I'm looking at the options. We would have to travel pretty far in order to, to be able to get through some areas. Let's explore this top area. Oh, actually, we can't even go up here. Here, take that back. So let's explore this bottom area first. Then I could go back up. Oh, but that's lava right there, I believe. Actually, no. I don't know what this extreme red part is. Let's just start making our way though. I guess we're right here, so let's just do this. These things, man. You gotta just nail them with rockets, honestly. There we go. Oh dang, I didn't I did not see this thing. Oh yeah, we gotta like bait it, right? I wonder if I can parry it. There we go. I almost did it a little too early. Right 
very nice little shortcut for ourselves right there. Uh-oh. What is this? What is this cutscene? Oh, here we go. like an imprisoned beast. So can I only hit it when he opens his mouth? Yeah. Ah, man, I'm taking a lot of damage right now. What about like on its body or anything? Doesn't seem like it. I think what I gotta do is I just gotta like bait it. Not bait it, but like get it to open its mouth by shooting the the high beam. Charge beam. And then just Ah, oh, come on. That seems to be the move. If I can hit it. If I can aim. Ah, oh, of course that hit me. I gotta try to take as little damage as possible. Like, obviously, right? Damn. Those goddamn nails. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I think it's gonna be way easier to do this by shooting the missiles and not going for the charge beam attack. I'm noticing that now. And then, I was thinking of doing that, but I thought I would run out of missiles. But I guess I get missiles from from those like small little balls that he, th that he like throws up. Oh yeah, I'm doing a lot better. Now we gotta fuel up again. Recharge. Which honestly, I did not really do right there. Alright, there we go. Next phase. Doing a lot better. Ah shit, he's gonna get free. I already see the weak spot though. That belly button. A little too exposed. Yep.
Am I doing damage to it like this? Like, do I have- I don't have to use charge attacks? Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is ma doing major damage like this. Dang. Okay, I know what to do now. And then these guys... Oops. Ah. So you, for the little ball attacks, I think it's better to try to get rid of them with... Oh, I didn't know I could jump on those things. To get rid of them with like a charged attack. I keep doing that on accident. Do this. Aha. Oh, I almost messed that up. What? What is this for? Oh, am I supposed to go go for the head after that? Ah. Uh... Well, let's try. Ah, I was supposed to. And then also, right here, I think I can... Oh! Yep, that's it. I got it locked down now, for sure. Ah, it's gotta be a little bit more careful, maybe. Not be so reckless. Oh. Right there, I. I was just too scared that I was going to die. I have so little health that I think it's better to actually be down here so that I can try to bait out the enemies, these little things right here, to get help. Yeah, there we go. back up and just redo the process. Every time I do it, I always get nailed by the nails. Get nailed by the nails. There we go. Come on. Give up. Oh. Oh, I could parry that. Alright, right here. Right here. We're going for the kill. Dang, I'm a little bit... I'd be a little bit disappointed if I never got the parry on him. But... Maybe the fight... Oh! That was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. That was a pretty cool boss fight. It, it made me feel like a little claustrophobic. Because I feel like I had nowhere to run.
Well, I saw an ability right here, so I think we might as well get this, right? The fusion beam acquired. Let's see what this is. Causes charge beam shots to explode on impact. Press and hold Y to charge and then release to fire. The explosion penetrates through terrain. And right there's a little example of how you can just aim for the wall pretty much and not on the other side. If there's an enemy there, they're gonna get damaged. So right here, I think we can do it right here. That is pretty sick. So maybe we'll go a little bit further. Maybe we can reach some type of like save station. Oh wait, I don't want to go this way, right? Oh, my mistake. use that example right here. And right here too. Let's see. Ah oh, no. I can't do it right here. I'll have to do it like over here or something. At least I don't think I can. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, it's a transportation to Darion. Uh, I will do that probably. I kind of just want to finish exploring this area first. I feel like I might as well. Can I get over here? I'm sure that I can. No, I, don't, I actually don't think I can go that way. And I can't go this way either. I think it, it wants me to go. We'll just go this way. Fast travel back to Darion. Yep, that's when you do it. Cool. At least now I know. I'm really not gonna struggle with those at all anymore. <laughs>
There we go. Nice slow. I was wondering when we were going to be able to save. So yeah, we'll probably go ahead and end it there. End it on a high note of defeating that boss and obtaining the new ability that we just got. That I already forgot the name of. Is there a way we can see our abilities? Well, here it is. Oh, there it is. Diffusion Beam. That's what we got. So we got the Diffusion Beam and we beat that. We defeated that boss, which is also... also <laughs> going back to the map again. The name of that boss was... Creed. Pretty cool boss fight. I enjoyed it. I died, a, what, two times? So it wasn't too easy. It wasn't super hard either, but I am playing first playthrough, so this is normal difficulty as well.